Hello everyone! This time you can see how I make four resin geode coasters with a beautiful crystal druzy edge. This edge is made with grown alum crystals and therefore the edge looks a lot like real druzy quartz crystals. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and hopefully you will give me a thumbs up for it. Yeah, I want to make some nice uh, geode coasters with a realistic uh, druzy edge. And I don't know if you saw my video in which I made some barriers with a druzy edge. I think I, it was a month ago. But I will include the link to that video in the right corner. And I just love that edge. So why not make a silicon mold uh, out of it? So that's what I did. This silicon is mold is made by myself. And I want to make some nice uh, geode coasters with a flower design. So I'm starting in the center with a nice glitter. And this glitter is from Glitter Queen. And the color is called Pastel Pearly Old Pink. Very nice. So if you're interested in the glitter from Glitter Queen... The link to her website is in the description below this video. I also have a promo code for her website. But the information to all my promo codes is also in the description below this video. The resin that I'm using is from Resin Pro. It's their medium viscosity resin. I like to work with this resin as I already mentioned in my previous videos because it has a great quality. And not too expensive. So I think that's great. And you can pour it into a silicon mold. Because you can pour up to one centimeter. But you can also use it on top of paintings. Or make a painting with it. So the first color that I use in the center. Is from Etter Art. And it's the color Amaranth. The second color is also from Etter Art. And this is the color Campari. So I want to make some nice bright geode coasters with a sparkly edge. Yeah, and I want those edges as re realistic as possible. So that's why I used um, a growing alum crystals. If you want to know how I uh, grow alum crystals, then I will also include a link to a video in the right corner in which I show how you can grow your own crystals and make a silicon mold out of it. Around it, another color, but this is from Ranger and this color is called Sunset Yellow. So this these coasters will get two layers of resin because I want to create a nice depth. And I'm also going to experiment with the waiting time before I'm going to add the flower design. Because for the first layer I'm going to wait until the resin is 30 degrees. But for the second layer I'm going to wait 45 minutes. I want to see the difference. To wait until the resin had a specific Temperature was a suggestion from Julie Cutts from Pouring Your Heart Out. She suggested to wait until the resin was 40 degrees, but I'm going to wait until it is 30 degrees. There you can see it. The white paste that I'm using is a test because uh, what you already know is that I want to add pigment pastes to my just paint supplies so this one I'm testing to see if it's a good quality or not so I'm going to add four large circles and what I always do is I add the white color into a piping bag because then you have much more control over the line But you can also add it with a silicon pen. But I like to use these uh, piping bags. So the resin is 30 degrees. I, I don't know how long I waited. 
because the waiting time is also depending on your room temperature if it's colder then you need to wait a little bit longer but I waited until the resin was 30 degrees Now I'm going to make some lines from the inside to the outside, there you can see it. Dragging the color to the outside. Very nice bright colors. Also the resin inks from Etter Art uh, are amazing. The link to her website is also in the description. And also for that website I have a promo code. But that's all in the description but I'm very curious um, how the edges will look because this is the first silicon mold I made going to use heat to remove air bubbles but also to create some effects yeah now I'm going to drag some of the amaranth color that I added in the center a little bit to the outside there you can see it. Not too much. Yeah, and I'm very proud of myself that I made this silicon mold. I never made such a large silicon mold. And so far it looks great. So I'm almost done with the first layer. I uh, have to let this dry until I can add the second layer. So this is a close-up after one hour of drying. I wanted to show it to you all. Some really nice colors. And I can already see that the white paste that I added spread a little bit. So that's great. But I'm going to add a second layer to create that depth a little bit closer there you can see the druzy edge so hopefully that will also look nice so I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will add the second layer So we are 24 hours later, going to start on the second layer, first again some nice glitter that I also used in the first layer, this is the glitter from Glitter Queen in the color Pastel Pearly Old Gold, then I add clear resin, starting on the outside, let it flow to the inside, so you only need uh, a thin layer of resin to create a nice flower. Yeah, and I hope I can take these coasters uh, very easy out of the mold because 
for the Druzy Edge, I used different sizes of uh, alum crystals, larger ones and also some smaller ones. But yeah, I hope I can take it out very easy, but that's later in the video. So on top of this larger flower that I made in the first layer, I will add a smaller flower to create the depth that I want. First, I'm going to remove air bubbles. I always use an embossing tool or a heat gun. I never use a torch. And I mention in, all, in almost every video because the flame of the torch is very hot. And then you have a risk that your resin will stick to the silicon. So around the glitter, I'm using the same, no, not the same color. This is the color grape. Purple, also from Etter Art, very dark shade of purple. So four drops. And the second color is from Ranger, and this is the Pearl Enchanted. Very nice color. And on top of the uh, Pearl nay, Crepe purple, I'm going to add one drop of the pearl enchanted in the center of the grape purple. And what I mentioned, now I'm going to wait 45 minutes. So we are 45 minutes later and now I'm going to add the white color for the flower design. I'm going to make circles around the glitter. Four circles, so not that large because I still want to see the flower that I made on the first layer. So what I uh, experience is that the resin is a little bit thinner than what I used um, in the first layer. So I think I waited longer until I added the flower design for the first layer. But yeah, I don't know that because I didn't um, watch the time. Again, lines from the inside to the outside and outside to the inside to create a nice petal. And I always, if I um, use two layers of resin for a flower, I always choose colors that have a nice contract, contrast. So that's why I use some darker colors for the second layer, for the second flower. Going to swirl the center. 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that I can't see the glitter that I added on this layer. But yeah, you can see it on the other side of the coasters. Because I also used it in the first layer. But now I will get a nice pearl center because of the Ranger alcohol ink, the pearl enchanted. Again, heat. Yeah, and I'm very curious if there is a lot of difference between uh, the two layers. Because I think I waited uh, uh, longer in the first layer before I added the flower design than in the second layer. But yeah, I'm done with the second layer. I will let this dry and then I can take them out of the mold. So this is one hour later. And so far I really like them. There's a lot of depth, some nice effects, and I think the colors are amazing. So hopefully that druzy edge is also very sparkly. A nice pearl center. Sparkles a lot, so that's great. There I'm trying to show you the depth. So I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will take them out of the mold. So we are 24 hours later. Now I can take the geode coasters out of the mold. Hopefully I will, can take them out very easy, but I'm always very careful because I don't want to damage my mold. But yeah, what I mentioned, I used larger alum crystals for the, uh, for the edge. But so far it's no problem, I can take them out. But this side looks amazing. I'm very pleased how this side of the coaster looks. And I can already see that the edge, the druzy edge, is also very pretty. So I'm very proud of myself that I made this mold. And they are out. Now we can uh, take a closer look. Yeah, I think they look very nice. And I'm very pleased with how the white pigment paste looks. This is the other side with the nice glitter in the center. And I don't see that much difference between the first and the second layer. Yeah, and the edge is amazing. It looks very realistic. But I will show it to you up close. And then I would like to know your opinion, what you think of this druzy edge. And the depth is amazing. But this is my first try to make a, a silicon mold with a druzy edge. Because I uh, made this already a month ago. And uh, now I, I tried it. And so far... The silicon mold um, works great.
Now a little bit closer, I'm trying to show you the depth of the first flower and the second one I added. And I think it looks very pretty. That's the other side with the glitter in the center. Yeah, I'm very pleased with how they look. And that is the druzy edge. Very nice. So this is the end result. So this is the side how I poured it. I like this side a lot. A great depth. And the, and the druzy edge is just amazing. Let me know what you think of this uh, crystal druzy edge. If it looks realistic or not. I think it does. And the white paste, I'm very impressed with that. So this is a good sign that it works this well. Because I want to add pigment paste, as you all know. And the colors are amazing. A nice sparkly center. There you can see it. Now I'm going to try to show you the edge up close. Then you can see if it looks realistic or not. I think it does. Very sparkly. And this is the other side with the nice glitter in the center. I also like this side, very pretty. So let me know what you think of my uh, resin geode coasters with a nice uh, druzy edge. So all the supplies I've used in this video you can find at the end of the video, but also in the description below this video with the link to the websites, as I always do. Don't forget my promo codes. I have several now. So, yeah, there's a lot of information in the description below this video. Please check it out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. I want to thank you all for watching again and hopefully... I will see you in my next video. Bye.